Hey there, I'm again. Welcome back to our Read Alouds. It's Mr. Lone. Last month, we had a terrific day when Audrey Vernick made her second author visit to McGinn, about 10 years apart. She was terrific talking about how she comes up with her ideas, being inspiring to young writers and readers. And so one of the books she referenced while she was here, she didn't read the whole thing, was a title she co-wrote with Liz Garton Scanlon called Bob Not Bob. The book, parts of it are to be read like you have a terrible cold. Well, a lot of people are dealing with that right now. So this figured a good time to read the entire thing. So here is Bob, not Bob, and I hope you enjoy. <clears throat> little Louie wasn't all that little. It wasn't like he needed his mom every minute of the day. Usually. Achoo! But when little Louie got sick, he felt littler than usual. Like maybe his mom should check on him kind of often, every three minutes or so. Today, little Louie's nose was clogged. His ears crackled and his brain felt full. He didn't know of what, but mostly his nose. It was disgusting. Little Louie didn't want to color or watch TV. He didn't even want to shoot baskets with wadded up tissues. All he wanted, besides maybe some hot chocolate, was his mother. Mom, called Little Louie with his weird, all wrong, stuffed up voice. His dog, Bob, came running and slobbering. No, I won by Bob, not Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. Bob didn't know what to say to that. Little Louie's mother came to his bedroom door. Why all the yelling, pumpkin? asked Mom. Little Louie let out a sad, I don't feel well and my nose is clogged moan. Ugh. Okay, sweetie, let's see. It didn't matter what she was going to say. All Little Louie wanted was his mom. But she had to get his sister from the bus. The next day, little Louie was even sicker. His lips chapped and his eyes gunked. As for his nose, you can't even imagine. So he just lay there, getting hot and sweaty, which sounded like hot and sweaty. Who's hot and sweaty? asked his sister. No, not sweaty, sweaty and hot. Tessa didn't know who sweaty was. Hot either. Mom would understand. Bob, called little Louie. His dog Bob came running and slobbering. No, Bob, not Bob. Tessa looked at him like he was cuckoo. So did Bob. Little Louie was st starting to feel kind of cuckoo himself, and nothing seemed to help. I don't want my medicine. I don't want a bubble bat. I don't want that. I don't want my medicine, I don't want a bubble bath, and I don't want a nap. I just want my Bob. Bob came running and slobbering. No, 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 Bob, not Bob. Little Louie was all mixed up. So was Bob, so was Mom. She dropped the laundry and kicked off her shoes. She climbed in next to little Louie and pulled the blankets high. She held him close. Oh, Louie, she said. Oh, Bob, he said. Bob came running and slobbering. He jumped up on the bed with them, and they lay there all afternoon, cozy as could be. And even though little Louie wasn't all that little and didn't need his mother every minute of the day, well, it was still awfully nice to have her there. Bob, too. Little by little, Louie got better. His nose unclogged, his ears uncrackled, and when he yelled, Bob, it was because he actually wanted Bob. Bob came running and jumping and slobbering. And even though little Louie didn't actually need his mom every minute of the day, he thought it was awfully nice when she came running, too. Did you, did you call me? Ah, ah, choo. Oh no, it looks like mom may have caught the cold now.
So I love that story where the words Bob and Mom, because of all the stuffiness, get mixed up. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you remember some of the things that Audrey shared with us when she was here a while back. Boys and girls, I'll be back with another story uh, for you tomorrow. You have an awesome night.